Shalom. Giving our praise to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah. Ba'ashem Rakaha Kwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, great no stone. Shout a warm to the hopeful elect. <clears throat> by sword and by fire will the Lord return. We start off with Ezekiel 21 and 9. The sword is being sharp. Being sharpened. Pardon my, my voice. This is Ezekiel 20, first chapter, ninth verse. Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Say, a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. That sword is going to be used for the heathen, for the sinners, and for the wicked. Verse 10, it is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. Mm, this, this is very deep. It is furbished that it may glitter. It's going to be the sharpest, most beautiful sword in the history of humanity, in the history of the universe. That sword is for, is for justice and punishment. It may glitter. Should we then make mirth, we should be party in these last days of the last days. We should repent and come back to serving the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Repent and be converted, Acts 319. It containeth the rod of my son as every tree. And it, verse 11, and it hath given, and he hath given it to be furbished. The Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, is going to put the the sharpest sword and the most beautiful sword in the hands of his saints and his servants to do judgment along with Yahweh Shah when he returned. Is that simple? He have given it that it may be furnished and it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is also furnished to give it into the hand of the slayer. The slayer is going to be the elect of the nation of Israel. Doing judgment. Let's go into Psalms 149. Talking about the sword. And fire. We'll get to the fire last. Talking about the sword right now. The sword is going to be placed in the hand of the elect, his saints, the servants, the prophets. This is Psalms 149, fifth verse. Let the saints be joyful. In glory, who are the saints? The saints are the Israelites, the elect of the house of the nation of Israel. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. The saints is going to wake up every morning giving all praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, every morning. Let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouth and a two edged sword in their hand. That's very simple, cut and dry. To do what? To execute vengeance upon the heathen. And punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written and the judgment is written in the Holy Scriptures the Bible this honor have all his saints praise ye the Lord it's gonna be an honor for the saints to be given a sword a two-way sword to commit judgment in the spirit of violent vengeance Thank you, Lord, for bringing me to this truth. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the fire now. Let's go to Isaiah 66 and 15. How the Lord going to come. Sword and the fire is the name of this lesson. 
the Lord put that um, that, that spirit on me this morning to preach on that sword and the, and the fire. It's a, it's a it's a joyful time. It's a wonderful day and time to know this truth. The 100% 100% truth taught by the elder apostles. Starting with the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Starting with Elder Taha all the way down through the Akia. All around the world. It's a beautiful time to know this truth. And to be blessed with the gift of faith. Because faith is a gift. From the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Let's get to the, the fight. We just, we just touched a little bit on the sword. This is Isaiah 66, 15, sword and the fire. Okay. For behold, the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, will come with fire and with his chariots, the so-called UFOs. Like a whirlwind. Mm. It's going to be a bunch of debris and stuff flying in the air when they, when they, when they come. Fire going to be around. Whirlwind going to be flowing debris. And in debris, you got, you got sticks and metal pipes and stuff. To render his anger with fury. Mm. And his rebuke with flames of fire. That is so heavy. For by fire and by his sword. See, sword and the fire is going to be the combination of the power punch. The death blow. Mm. For by fire and by his sword. With the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushua, Plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Mm. Sword and the fire. Let's close it on that. Giving our praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha, by Hashem Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom warm to the hopeful elect. I pray the lesson be edifying to the flock as I strive every day to the best of my ability or according to my portion of faith. To give daily diligence to make my calling and election sure. On to the next one, Shalom.